hello everyone my name is harish and uh, as you already know we are in a process of learning apg uh, api management uh, platform provided by google and uh, in our last few um, tutorials we created a spec then we created a api proxy and then we went to that API proxy and added a API key and uh, in today's uh, tutorial what we are going to do is uh, we are going to create a API product and then we are going to create a developer portal which uh, any developer can go and uh, register and then start using that uh, product from that API portal so as uh, you might have already guessed so what we are going to create is uh, first an api product for our uh, api so what i'm going to go and do is going to click on uh, api product to add a new product here and uh, i'm going to name it as employee product and uh, let's add a uh, display name uh, and description is optional but uh, i'm just going to put this and uh, then i'm going to choose what environment i want to deploy and access i can make it keep it private or public or internal only uh, internal only is to only people in your organization public is anybody can see it and the uh, private is only accessible to external developer with explicit permission uh, during app registration so as of now i'm going to make it public and then uh, if you want to add you can add a quota here a uh, default quota and if not then you can also go to your api policy uh, sorry api proxy and then create a uh, po add a policy there uh, which can uh, do this quota generation so i'm just gonna add this uh, quota also so i'm going to put it as uh, five requests every one minute so this is my uh, default uh, quota setting and then i'm going to add my proxy so this is my employee backend api proxy and uh, we are going to add that and then uh, we are going to leave other thing as default and i'm going to save it so with this uh, we have a new product uh, created uh, that is employee product and now we are going to create a portal for our uh, application or our api to create a portal um, what you have to do you have to go to publish and portals and you create on that and as of now i don't have any portal created I'm going to add a portal uh, so let's click on get started and we are going to create a new developer portal so I'm going to name it employee API portal and uh, I'm going to add employee APIs as its description and then I'm gonna hit create with this it's going to create a blank out of the box uh, portal for you which you can later uh, customize based on your organization's uh, uh, branding or uh, design so we'll see how to do that as well so it's uh, going to create that portal here so let's wait for it to finish so with this uh, we have a portal available and it is out of the box and if i just go and click on live portal it's going to open that portal for me so here out of the box this all thing is available it created an acme developers and apis quick start sign in so this sign in process is out of the box available to you uh, if uh, any developer come he can register for your api but uh, as of now we don't have an api so no api found we have to uh, get that api created here so i'm going to go back to my portal and here you can see overview in uh, like in this drop down 
there is a bunch of uh, different uh, uh, configuration you can change like you can set a theme uh, you can add new more pages add users apis assets menus settings so what i'm going to do first is add a api here so to add that api i'm going to click on api and i'm going to select which api i want to uh, publish through this portal i'm going to select employee product and then going to hit next and uh, for this api documentation since we already have a swagger spec created i'm going to create um, uh, our documentation through that spec and uh, it will open up that uh, spec here or uh, you can um, very easily upload a new file or import it from a url but since we already have a spec created i'm going to uh, do it with that so i'm going to select that and now it's going to show you other information like uh, do you want it to be available to anonymous user like anybody can view or only registered user so what this means is uh, even if the um, developer is not registered to your portal he can still see but if you select this and he will be only able to see that api after he's registered so as of now i'm going to select it anonymous and i'm going to make it published and uh, i'm going to hit next so here uh, you can put a title uh, employee product and uh, um, like what is your title for your uh, uh, api and you can add an image your product image uh, that is your branding or your organization image um, as of now i don't have anything so i'm just going to hit finish so now you have your api created if i go back here and uh, if i click apis again or maybe let me refresh this so right now you can see there is a uh, api available that is employee product and if i click this you can, now the developer is able to see the spec or the definition of your api and all the methods exposed all the documentation and documentation available so he can go and uh, try all this uh, different uh, information he can very easily uh, do this try this api he can click on execute and he can see that uh, something is coming back so it's it's very easy and simple so he can of course go to post and he can add some information here like birth dates and all so this all information is pulled through your uh, swagger spec and everything is coming from there so now this is all well and good but uh, as you, if you can if, if you remember um when okay let me go to my postman so as you remember we still are not able to call our api because it's still asking us that there is no key available so that that key is basically api key and i need to provide something here and how to generate that api key uh, so in our first tutorial we added a uh, app in our uh, management ui but that's not the normal way uh, um, api works so what api happens like during api is uh, you your developers can go and uh, create a sign in so i'm going to register an user here so i don't have an account so i'm going to create an account so I'm going to say uh, demo and just going to create a demo account and uh, email and give a password here. So this all everything is uh, out of the box available uh, when you created a portal so it will send you a, an email uh, where you can register so i am going to pause and go to my email and uh, uh, confirm my account i have got an email where i can go and uh, confirm so this email format and everything is uh, by default provided so i'm going to click on this uh, link I'm going to confirm so 
now my account is confirmed I'm going to sign in So now as you can see I'm signed in to this uh, developer portal and I can create apps also. So I'm going to go to my account and select this apps and I'm going to create a new app. So now I'm going to create new app that is uh, I'm going to name it my awesome employee app and awesome employee app so that's my description and I'm going to select what kind of product uh, um, I'm going to uh, access for this API so if you remember we created uh, when I explained that you can have multiple products so your portal as of now only provides employee product so you can have uh, multiple products available so since we have only one so I'm going to select this and then I'm going to click on create so now since I have created this and uh, uh, now you can see I have got a key so I can very easily copy this now my key is associated with this product and I will be able to call this API so if I provide that key here and then make a request so that key will uh maybe i didn't copy properly oh sorry i copied wrong thing so i should copy this oops okay so this key is generated and now since i have a key i am able to call that api so this is how the whole flow will work your uh, um developers can go and create an app so right now it is automatic uh, uh, approval and you can have a approval process associated with that so when we created uh, that product uh, we let's go and see that product so it is uh, request approval is automatic I can very easily have a approval process uh, and then based on uh, those uh, approval process then only those developers will be able to access or if you want to have monetization like uh, the the credit card payment should be done then that also you can do uh, very easily integrated here so as you see apg provides uh, a lot of in, um, out of the box functionalities uh, which we you can use to create portals and uh, other things so we will continue to learn more and i'll see you again in the next tutorial thank you so much